Hello, in this video I will be sharing a drawing that I did of some owls for International Owl Awareness Day. I'm using a crow quill pen with some Higgins calligraphy ink as a base and then I will be laying in some darker blacks from a Pentel pocket brush and a couple of microns. This first owl is a long-eared owl, not to be confused with a short-eared owl. They actually occur in pretty much the same distribution. Um, this particular owl lives throughout the entirety of North America and Eurasia. This girl is Aurora. She's a very old owl from the Cascades Raptor Center. Uh, this owl is a barn owl, another really widely distributed owl, and the only bird on this page that is from the family Titonidae. They're actually uh, crepuscular, so that means that they aren't nocturnal, but they will wake up in the afternoon and, and dusk to hunt their favorite prey, which is rodents. This owl's name is Padawan. He has a bit of a um, head injury that prevents him from hunting in the wild. This next owl is a Eurasian eagle owl. His name is Dimitri, and he's one of the largest owls in the world. Um, or at least eagle owls are one of the largest owls in the world. His species will actually hunt uh, other predators, uh, including like hawks and buzzards, as well as foxes and hedgehogs. Um, some people have even reported them going after deer and lambs and livestock. Um, very interesting species. He's also one of the only birds on this entire page that uh, does not belong to North America. He's only found in Europe and in Asia, as his name suggests. And next up is a great horned owl. This is one of the larger species in the Pacific Northwest here. And they're also called tiger owls for their tiger-like stripes. Uh, this one is Lorax. Our, her name is Lorax. She's not a Lorax. Um, these owls will actually go after skunks because they have a incredibly poor sense of smell. So they're, they're not actually bothered by the smell of skunks. They also get, their feathers will often get bleached by the chemicals that come out of the skunks' glands. Next up is a burrowing owl. Um, these owls don't actually make their own burrows. They usually take the burrows, uh, usually empty burrows from coyotes or badgers, and they just kind of take those over to raise their young in. This one's name is Ra. And the last owl 
that I drew is a snowy owl. Um, his name is Archimedes, and um, one of the owls on this list that rarely comes down to Oregon, or is very, very rarely seen in Oregon. They're typically seen around the Arctic Circle. And there you have it. Um, if you like this video, uh, please send us a like or a comment um, and possibly subscribe.